YouTube is Deidre Goddess again coming at you with another video. This one's going to be short and sweet. I just finished exercising my butt off and when I say I was exercising my butt off, I just did, it was an hour, 94 minutes, an hour and 34 minutes of a fitness blender insanity workout. Then people are ridiculous. I did have to modify a lot of the exercises because I don't do that hopping and jumping. So I did modify the workout quite a bit, but it was still a beast. And that was 94 minutes after that. I did this Shanti size video. I just did the first one getting the moves down the circle eights or something or other. Circle crazy eights crazy eights and that was fun um shanti workouts are always fun he's got a real high energy and he'd be having that swag going and so it was, it was nice um that was a pretty good workout so for all together it was about two hours worth of working out i am hot i am sweaty and i am just I'm just a beast right now i feel really strong and i'm sipping on that bulletproof coffee Mm. That is my favorite part of the morning. Other than God waking me up every day. That's a blessing. But after that, I get to that bulletproof coffee. I'm still doing my keto diet. I'm going to be doing keto for quite some time. I did have a cheat day on Sunday. Actually, it wasn't a cheat day. It was a cheat meal. On Sunday at our church, we did the Women of Faith. Um, and we set up tables um, reflecting us story out of the Bible and our story was feeding the flock and if any of y'all know my mama my mama liked to feed the flock so I did eat I ate some salmon I ate some garlic bread I ate some fruit and my dad makes a 7-up cake that's ridiculous and I ate a couple slices of the 7-up cake um, but I did my intermittent fasting the next day I fasted extra long because of the cake um, continue with my workouts and kept it pushing. Um, I have been trying to up my fat and lower my protein because I think I was eating a little bit too much meat. I haven't weighed myself because that scale is just so misleading. Although when I look at myself, I feel like um, I'm losing inches. It's kind of hard to tell in this video. But this is what I'm looking like right now. Um, when I get better situated, I can try to get a better full body shot. But right now, this is what I got. Um, I have noticed, I do feel like my love handles on the side have definitely slimmed down a lot. I, most of what I see appears to be right in this section right here. Um, I don't know what it is about the low carb thing, but it seems like, it's funny because it seems like typically when you're losing weight, the stomach is the last thing to go, but, um, it appears as if my stomach is like really, I wear a lot of dresses and in my dresses, I can really tell, I've had a couple people mention that it looks like I'm getting smaller and I'm sure they mean around my waist because for a minute, my stomach was very bloaty and just hanging all over the place I, after the weight gain it seemed like it came all right back to my stomach but again it appears as if it's going away pretty good so um typically for breakfast i eat eggs peppers and bacon that's like my favorite breakfast i've been loving that um for lunch i will make a meat with vegetables and the um, peppers that I'm eating I'm sauteing those in butter with a little bit of bacon grease um, cooking the eggs with bacon grease uh, and putting some butter in it for lunch I've been eating whatever meat I eat for dinner I've been taking some of that with some sauteed vegetables um, sometimes I'll eat just the meat and some eggs for dinner I have been loving meat and broccoli with butter i don't know me and abby have been eating that for the past week straight we've had uh steak 
a couple nights we had ribs a couple nights last night we had chicken and all with broccoli I'm smallering making smallering that is not a word don't y'all ever use that word in public smallering is not a word forgive me I have been having smaller portions of my meat and keeping to keep everything running smoothly I do eat vegetables I know that they have carbs in them but I'm making sure to cook them with some oil usually bacon grease and or butter and sometimes both it depends on how I'm feeling just to make sure I do try to um, make sure I'm getting enough fat in my pro I mean in my bulletproof coffee Mm. I don't count calories and I know everyone keeps saying the only way to do this right is to count calories count calories count your macros if it fits your macros I just I want this to be something natural I don't feeling like I have to pull out my phone and do um, uh, what's that called uh, my fitness pal if I have to pull out my scale every time I get ready to eat that just is not natural to me and when I do that stuff I f it makes me feel more like I'm on a diet when I'm trying to find a way to eat healthily and even out and manage my calorie intake with my calorie outtake and I feel like the only way that I'm going to do that is to find a way to naturally eat I eat when I'm hungry and that's it um, sometimes that's twice a day, sometimes that's three times a day. Uh, me and Ebony have been taking cream cheese and mixing it with um, sugar-free jello, different flavors, to make like little fat bombs. If I feel like I want something sweet or a little snack, I'll get a spoonful of that. I've also been making keto cookies. Um, I mix almond f flour, chia seed, hemp seed, flaxseed, coconut, a little bit of um, that pure sweetener, which is stevia and erythritol. Um, mix that with melted butter, spread it out on a cookie sheet on some parchment paper, put it in the oven until it gets kind of, usually about eight to 10 minutes. Um, it'll kind of, It's soft, but once you take it out the oven, it gets hard. I break that in pieces and eat it for like little cookies. Sometimes I'll put some of that um, cream cheese fat bomb stuff on there. It tastes kind of like cheesecake. Um, I even made one of the cookies with a little bit of cacao powder, which made it chocolatey. Put that cream in between it. It tastes almost like an Oreo cookie. Bam. And I've never been one for like sweet stuff. I don't eat a lot of, even when my weight gain, I don't eat a lot of candy, cookies, crackers, that type of stuff. So that stuff I just kind of eat every once in a while. If I'm, I'm feeling like chewing but not necessarily hungry, I eat a little bit of that. Um, but... I feel good. I, I, if nothing else, even whether I'm on the scale, scale says I'm losing weight or not, I feel awesome. I feel awesome. My mom was talking to me yesterday. She said that she's been hearing some stuff about the keto diet not being healthy. Um, I feel great. I, I feel great. This way of eating has been the easiest way for me to eat. Um, when I lost weight before... It wasn't really hard. I'm not going to say that it was hard. Um, I just felt like there were so many different diets out there. I was mixing paleo with low carb, um, uh, clean eating clean. There were just so many things out there. I was mixing a little bit of everything. And it seemed to kind of work, but it was difficult because, you know, you hear one thing and you want to try this. And I was watching Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz is a fluke. He, I mean, it, messing with Dr. Oz, you'll be broke. One minute he says, do this. I was doing the green coffee bean, the Garcinia Cambogia, the, uh, the tea. And every time you turn around, Dr. Oz is telling you, oh, do this, try this, try this. So here I am trying all this stuff. I'm watching all these videos. Um, I, I just had information overload and I was trying to do everything at once. And I did lose weight, but it was just very, very expensive. Eating ketogenic is not that expensive. Um, I eat meat, vegetables, butter, and coconut oil. And I eat lots of avocados. Um, 
Ebony is loving it. When she's taking her lunches to school, the kids always tell her what good lunches she has. You know, she's getting leftovers. Her favorite thing lately is we've been mixing tuna with Duke's mayonnaise, uh, mustard, avocado, and tuna. And she has been loving that. That's been her favorite lunch, um, at least this past week. Um, she likes to take bacon and eggs for lunch. She gets a bacon and egg or sausage and eggs every morning. She gets a home-cooked lunch at school. And when she comes home, she's eating a home-cooked meal. Um, she's losing weight. She's feeling great. She says she feels like she's bit paying better attention at school. And she looks good. And she's been getting a lot of compliments as well as um, looking like she's losing weight. So for now, we're just going to keep on trucking, keep on trucking. Um, thanks you guys for watching the video. Um, I'll make another video in a couple days if I come up with something interesting else to mention. Um, I probably won't weigh myself until maybe the 1st of June. That scale is so discouraging. And I used to weigh myself every day and I was always cool with, you know, that's one thing I will say. When I was losing weight before, I would get on the scale and it seemed to tell me the truth, whether I had gained weight or lost weight. And I seemed to be okay with that. But now this keto diet, the scale is a little tricky. So I've been trying to stay away from that scale because it keeps telling me I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm gaining. Every day I get on, it seems like it's telling me I'm gaining weight, but I can look at myself and tell that I'm not gaining weight. It could be the new workout program I've got going. I've been doing the fitness blender, 1,000 calorie workouts every day. Um, and I do a lot of weight training when I'm at the gym. I really don't know. I just know that I feel good and I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Anyways, mwah, peace out. You guys, thank you for watching my videos, for keeping me accountable. Please comment at the bottom. Um, let's get some dialect going so that if you guys see me doing something wrong or have any advice for me, I really, really, really would appreciate the conversation. I don't have the people around me don't understand what I'm doing. I don't really have anybody to talk to about it. So comment and I'll comment back and maybe we can get some conversations going. It would be nice to get into the community and get to know some other people, some other people's stories, their journeys. Um, if you like the videos, like the videos, subscribe to my channel. I have been going through watching videos, subscribing to different keto channels, trying to just get a feel of how it's working for everybody. Um, again, you can follow me on Facebook at Deidre Raylene, and that's D-I-E-D-R-E-R-E-L-E-N-E -E 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 at Facebook. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Deidre underscore goddess at Instagram.com. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, be blessed, and again, never give up.